Hey everyone, we're just here to talk about these, this page protector inside your three ring binder. It's super important. Looks kind of like this. So I'm going to get it out and we'll unpack it. If you have the nonsense word games, that's what we're talking about today. If you have the sight word games, it's the same concept, but with sight words. So, this gives you the directions on um, in English and Spanish on how to play this game. This is a nonsense word game. You're going to be cutting it out and seeing how many nonsense words they can get in one minute. That's one of the examples. When they're done with this and they've played it at least one, two, three, four times with you, they get a sticker. When all the stickers are full, they get a prize. You want to tell them about this one? Yep. So this is, uh, we're just trying to get, get them um, to be able to read these as whole words, these, these nonsense words. Nonsense words have no meaning, but they are blendable. So they're really good practice for kids um, who need help blending their words. So uh, the point of this is to read it like this. Instead of going t, uh, m, we want them to think about the sounds in their head and then be able to say out loud tum, the whole word together. So what we want them to do, we want you to time them for one minute and we want to see how many words they can get in one minute. Then down here, you're going to mark the date that you did this with them and how many words they got in one minute. It will take, honestly, one minute of your time, but this has a huge impact on how well and how quickly they become good readers. So if you can do this with them, you're helping your child become a better reader in one minute. So. Um, yeah, remember when you do this that all the sounds should be the um, short the vowel. short the short vowel sounds. So not say dive d ive, it should be div d iv. So remind them if you want, you can remind them of that beforehand. But the vowels should be said as short vowels. Um, super easy but super effective game, and play it as a game. Do it as a game because they're more likely to. Be excited about doing it if you're like, okay, let's see how many words we can get in one minute. Let's see if we can beat yesterday's. You got this many yesterday. Let's see if we can get one more than that. Um, they'll be a lot more excited and a lot, and a lot more willing to do it with you if you play it that way. And it's much more effective if you can do it one minute, like as often as possible, rather than all sessions at once. Right. Because um, with a child's brain and anybody's brain, really, if you practice for a small amount of time most often, Mm -hmm. That will be more effective than if you have a huge amount of time and you're doing a whole bunch during that huge amount of time. Right. So this is what helps them with the Dibbles test. The goal for the middle of the year, for the beginning of January, is 15 words in one minute. So this will help a lot. We're, we're going to be sending a new game home every single week and they can get those stickers and earn that prize. So thanks for listening. Thanks. Bye.